Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Happy third Sunday of Advent. And we begin, as always, with a prayer to the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll, we'll sing, O come, O come, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here. Until the Son of God appear, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Amen. In today's Gospel reading, we are reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, 6 through 8, and 19 through 28. Here, John the Baptist gives his witness to Christ. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, because Jesus is the light. He's the light of the world. He's our light, our Christmas light. Amen. So that all might believe through him. John, the, the reading says, John was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? And this is what John says. I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, as Isaiah the prophet said. So that's John. He's tell, told us who he is. The voice in the desert crying out to make straight the way of the Lord. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet. And this is John's answer. John answered them, I baptize you with water, but there's one among you whom you do not recognize. The one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. Look at how he describes our Lord. He first of all calls Jesus Christ the light, the light. And then he says that the Lord Jesus Christ is the one. He says, there's one among you whom you do not recognize. Do we recognize Jesus? How are we preparing? How are we preparing our hearts, our minds, our homes, our families for the birth of Jesus Christ? Do we recognize him in what we are doing or have we become very materialistic? Are we caught up in the business of the world and the hustle and bustle of Christmas festivities? 
that are not spiritually related or even related to anything that we are doing in this holy season of Advent. Let us take a break today and ask ourselves on this Gaudete Sunday, this Sunday of rejoicing, this Sunday where we wear pink to show that we are almost there. Christ is almost here. Let us reflect. Do we recognize Jesus in what we do? May the Lord help us to recognize our Lord Jesus Christ as the light of our lives in everything we do and say. Let us also be light to others. And as St. John the Baptist says, we are so unworthy of our Lord. He says, I am not worthy to untie his sandal strap. We are not worthy, but God is. And because of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are his righteousness. Let us trust in Jesus Christ. Let us trust in him, believe in him. And let us say, no matter what we're facing, Jesus, I trust in you. Short and sweet. So let's end with a chorus of praise to our God and just thank him. Just thank him that we can rejoice in him. Oh, one more thing. Today's responsorial psalm is Our Lady's Magnificat. When our mother Mary proclaimed the mighty and good works of God, my soul rejoices in my God. In this Sunday, when we rejoice, we rejoice in our God. Let us rejoice, no matter what we're going through right now. Let us just take this Sunday to rejoice. Just thank the Lord. Rejoice in him as our lady did. Let our soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord and let our spirit rejoice in God, our Savior. Amen? Amen. Okay, so we'll sing thank you. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in Christ my Lord. My Lord has made marvels for me. Holy his name. Hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Have a beautiful Sunday, beautiful third Sunday of Advent and a beautiful and blessed week as we lead on to Christmas. God bless you. Bless your families. Bless your work and the work of your hands according to his will. And we pray the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Pray for me to our Lord Jesus Christ as I pray for you too. God bless you and God willing, I'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye.